Truck World TV, sponsored by Auto Trader Trucks. Welcome back to our brand new series of Truck World TV. Now later on in the show, we've got our chats with the drivers, asking them do they think they are paid enough for the job they do. <laughs> you might be surprised by some of the answers, but before that, we've got one of Tim's truck tests. Now, after last series, a lot of people bombarded me with mail saying, Rob, you're a good looking lad, why aren't you driving any of the big vehicles? And of course, it's because my driving skills are so superior to Tim's. But well, maybe not, I don't think so, you must be joking. I'm a car man, I can just about drive a big van, but I have no licence, I wouldn't know where to start, and it's actually quite an involved, important job driving a truck, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is, it's a big responsibility, mate. How long have you been driving them then? Uh, I passed my test when I was 21, 22, so probably, I don't know. There was a war on then, wasn't there? <laughs> there will be in a minute. <laughs> Obviously, apart from my choice of co-presenter, I do like the finer things in life. I mean, for instance, take my coat, my top here, and, and my trousers, well, maybe not trousers, and, and sh shoes, maybe not. OK, I think we'll leave that alone. But when it does come to my trucks, I do like them, and I also like them with all the whistles and bells. When it comes to MAN and whistles and bells, you can't get something more whistlier and bellier than this vehicle here. It's the TGX 26560, the top of the range engine, and it's matched the top of the range cab, the XXL. So what do we mean by top of the range? Well, it means you get all the technology, and I won't call them gimmicks, because they're not gimmicks, they're actually quite safe and efficient in terms of what they're making sure the vehicle works efficiently. Here, for instance, we've got adaptive cruise control, which obviously means it will break for the driver if it sees an emergency situation. So again, helping with safety and efficiency. And also you've got cameras at the top in the windscreen, which look for lane guard and lane warning. So again, a very much a, a security and safety thing for the driver. And also this one fits with GPS as well for efficient cruise control as well. So that means all of these things help to make this vehicle a lot safer and more efficient, which is exactly what every operator wants. The XXL cab is the largest cab available in Europe, and with over two metres of standing height, it can comfortably accommodate two drivers on a multi-day European road trip. OK, what we've got here, double cab, straight away, we've got the bunk in there, a top bunk, obviously with the normal standard sort of uh, restraints. And then also we've got here, for the lower bunk, uh, for health and safety reasons, you've got a, a lockable guard which can lock down there as well. Then we've got a fridge in here and obviously a standpoint away there. And a couple of things I do like. First of all, I like the idea that the electric windows are remotely controlled there. So you, just, you don't have to get out of bed to open and close the windows. They're actually controlled here from this switch over here, which is really, really handy. Uh, and also you've got the roof vent, which is not standard in most cabs anyway. Coming along here, got the drive here which is a auto gearbox 12 speed and also you've got the ability to actually do semi-automatic as well and obviously got your handbrake there as well remember what i said earlier on about the whistles and bells well when you switch this on you get whistles and bells and you also get lights lights like black illumination to be honest it's all there in front of you including a movable digital uh, rev counter as well or a green zone for you and then around the dashboard very very nice indeed you've got your sat nav system and you've got also your cd radio which is also controlled by the on the steering wheel as well but on the side you've got the air conditioning unit and heating and venting uh, and then at the side on the stalks we've got controls for the lights and the windscreen wipers. And then on this side, we've got indicators and also the engine brake system. So very nice, very compact, all close at hand for the driver, which is exactly what they want. As you're driving along, again, really really nice suspension system straight away you feel very very comfortable indeed and it's a very deep windscreen one of the big things that you do notice about this tgx is some of the some of the trucks nowadays modern trucks seem to have very narrow letterbox style uh, windscreens this is a very very deep windscreen lots of light nice and bright i really do like it
revving along, we're at sort of like uh, 60 kph and we're doing around about 1100. And as I said, I mentioned earlier on, uh, the actual green zone varies depending upon the engine. Don't forget, this is a D38 engine. This is a top of the range engine. It's available uh, in 520 and 560, and this is the, the 560 version. So it's a very, very powerful engine as well, and really pulls extremely well. Steering wise, nice positive steering. The steering wheel is exceptionally big, but at the same time, the top half of it gives you great access to the instrument panel. Some of these cabs nowadays, you find you have to look around it or uh, some things have been blocked out. Nothing at all is blocked out here. You've got the whole of the instrument panel. It tells me here, for instance, I'm on 11th gear and I'm cruising around about the 1400 revs. So at around about the uh, 85 kph. This vehicle, because it's efficient line, is limited to 85 kph, that's standard, instead of your normal 89 stroke, 90 kph. So again, helping with the fuel consumption. So, MAN, top of the range, TJX 26 560, all singing, all dancing, all the whistles and bells you want. Is it as good as it sounds? On paper, it looks really, really good. You get a spec sheet, you think this has got everything. And in the end, I'll be honest, it does live up to the, to the, the booking. It lives up to what the style should be. It lives up to um, a good driver. A good driver going to spend, let's face it, two guys, two or three weeks away, going down to Spain, Italy, along that sort of route. Would you be disappointed in this? No, you wouldn't. Actually, I'd be putting my hand up and saying, yeah, I'll do a couple of weeks in this, no problem whatsoever. I love all things visual. That looked like a cracking piece of kit. Yeah, it's a nice kit. I mean, it's a flagship model, so what do you expect? It's a, it's a beautiful truck. If you've got the opportunity to drive it, you're very lucky. It is the, um, I don't know, the pièce de résistance for MAN. Uh, and if that doesn't drive well, then hell, there's got something wrong with it. Do you seem to enjoy it overall? Cracking yeah, piece of kit? it's a nice cab. It's a nice, it's a good cab. It's a good environment. It's not changed too much over the years, but certainly the engine's a nice engine. And uh, you know, MANs they drive pretty well anyway. So maybe you could pay the drivers less and just give them a nicer truck to drive? No, I don't think that. Maybe you could pay them well and give them a good truck to drive. That might be what they want. Well, the, the drivers have their own thoughts on this, don't they? And yeah. again, throughout the series, we'll be chatting to the drivers here at T-Bay on various issues, but today it is all about money and it's quite interesting what they've got to say. I don't think we, we, we get paid enough, especially on the ADR side, you know. Uh, chemicals, chemicals, yeah, and, and your fuel lads, you know, they go, oh, the fuel drivers, they're on this much, they're on that much. But who wants to get up at two o'clock in the morning and do that job, delivering literally your flammables, and then sleep during the day? When I first started, it was on a thousand pound a month. 15 years later, we're still on a thousand pound a month. So, <laughs> I my pay's actually doubled in the past four years. Like. But I like to say you've got to get the right job to get the right money. Very difficult question. Um, it's a mixture probably of pay and conditions. And predominantly, I would say it's conditions. You know, young people don't want to be away four or five nights a week. And certainly don't want to be doing three o'clock in the morning, you know. Um, but unfortunately, you know, that's the nature of this industry and uh, you know pay is another um, issue you know when you're doing 16 70 hours for sort of minimum wage uh, it's not going to be attractive to to the average youngster today i went from a not bad pay to a good pay to i'm now on extremely good pay but i think i'm only on extremely good pay because it's christmas time and everyone's looking for drivers where i'll go back to okay pay probably in probably february time 
as we might expect, a, a range of, of, of opinions there. Yes. But the national statistics are saying the average driver earns around twenty-eight thousand pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's relative, yeah, isn't it? Exactly, that's it. Yeah, and they said it's gone up by three percent, which is ten times more than van drivers. And I suppose with over time, I know you've got tachograph systems and things you've got yeah, to regulate. Yeah, working time directive, things like that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, got to keep an eye on them. Putting you on the spot, do you think they get paid enough? I'd say they never get paid enough, mate. I mean, the whole backbone of the industry works on it, so no. Give them a pay rise. Of course. But it's not my business. <laughs> so as long as you don't have to pay for it, give them a of pay course, rise. Of course. Well, that's it for this week. Be sure to join us same time, same place next week and have a look at the website, of course, Truck World TV, uh, for more news and information. And we've done it, Tim. We've made it through another show. I know. I enjoyed, I enjoyed every minute of it, mate. Good stuff. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Truck World TV, sponsored by Auto Trader Trucks.